And that's, the, 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 I've learned over time that nothing good comes from no sweating. So we really had to sweat through the process. The other thing I realized that had to work for the business is the staffing. Having the right staff to do the job for you because I, you can't do everything, you'll get burnt out. So you, today if you think you'll handle everything, you handle this part as it works, the other one is falling. So you need also to have people who buys into the vision, who buys into the strategic intent, who wants to walk the whole mile. So having the good stuff for me, I think I was lucky. I had, I, and I, this had become like part of the family. These are people who stuck by us, even when I was telling them, you know me, I don't want us to just have a shop. I want us to have a brand. And by then, even when we were starting, we didn't have a name, we didn't have branding, but then after we got our certification, I was like, you know, now we have to, to have brand name and everything else. So all that process, of course, mistakes here and there, you do them as you try to learn, as you try to meet your dream, uh, you know, you want to conquer the market. But uh, those lessons now, they ground you. As an entrepreneur, you have dreams, but the reality on the ground is totally different. So now it means you have to align yourself to what are the expect what's your niche? Once you pick your niche, then identify what your niche wants. Work within that, provide them that, get feedback, because feedback also builds you for that. So for me, my staffing really helped to help us to now to make the transition. I sometimes imagined I'll have branches, dream come true, it will. And uh, the struggles that I experienced, oh my goodness, the struggles were real. For me, they were real because I thought I had all this experience in the corporate world. And I would, when you get into a business, I just need to put this into place and things will just run. And that's not what happened. I realized that, oh, I thought this thing would work like this. And then, you see, now what you work in the, as I said, in the corporate is not the same when you come to the Juwakani because your clientele also changed. So when I was out there, the, the language, the culture is different. The approach is different. Now, when I am here, I have now to transform and accept that now the clientele that I'm handling is different from the clientele I handled then. And then over time now, I think for me that has prepared me. I can now be on both ends comfortably and fit. Previously, I think I, would, I almost got broken, but I, I, get, I had got a very good support system. And this support system kept me now making the next stride. So today I usually say, I'm investor ready. Who wants to invest in my business? Come. I mean, I have learned the, the, the ropes. I have known the mistakes. I have known now what works for us. We now have our vision very clear. I have a team that is dedicated to this process. So I think I would say that is basically my learning curve in starting Sunrise.